So why do we need blockchains? And why is that uh, that I believe that blockchains are here to stay? So before the creation of blockchains, the only way to transact between each other was to trust a centralized party, like a bank or an auction house. Uh, the uh, trusted centralized party keeps the records and keeps the, the ledgers and updates the records and the balances and the ledgers whenever necessary. So like, for example, banks update our balance, our bank account balance when you receive a payment. And lawyers and auction houses, they update the ownership of artwork when we purchase uh, or, or sell when, or when our artwork can ch change hands. Uh, can we do this without a centralized authority? Can we open the market to new business models? And can digital artists create themselves a token of ownership for their art? Can digital artists finally be rewarded for their work? This is where blockchain comes into place and this is what NFTs are doing. In late 2008, Satoshi Nakamoto released a white paper describing, describing a solution that would solve uh, these issues. Bitcoin, firstly. Reg Bitcoin is regulated mathematically through algorithms to maintain the supply of the assets. And there is no uh, centralized authority that controls the creation of the assets. And this eliminates the need for middlemen to and help us to reduce transaction costs. It's more transparent uh, and it's immutable. It's not possible to manipulate or to have frauds. And it also increased the transaction speeds in many cases from days to a few minutes. Um, and it's much faster to update the ledger and, and have everyone synchronized on the same page with, with blockchain. Um, there are also some essential characteristics and advantages when referring to blockchain and cryptocurrencies. So firstly, as you heard probably already before, blockchains are decentralized. There is no centralized third, part, third party controlling the blockchain and uh, its transactions, and there is no centralized management. Uh, except in some rare cases like talking about permission and blockchains, but we are not talking about this. NFTs is using Ethereum, which is totally decentralized. It's also anonymous or pseudo-anonymous or pseudonymous, whatever you prefer. So uh, it is not linked to your real world identity. It's instead linked to your uh, public key or to your uh, wallet address. It's also secure. Uh, blockchain security, security is ensured by consensus mechanisms and by uh, the public key cryptography. It's fast, as I said already, um, and blockchains can be assessed from any place in the world. And if you, as long as you have an internet connection, you can have access to the Ethereum records and you can have access to your um, NFT. And uh, also these blockchains are permissionless meaning that anyone in the world can use them and users' uh, geographical location doesn't matter. So I think you can see here some of the uh, important advantages, right? Let, let's ask now a quick question. Why do we need blockchains or decentralized distributed ledgers? Is it, is it because Bitcoin is a new gold? Is it because Dogecoin is going to the moon? Or is it because blockchain is a distributed database that allows parties to transact in a trustless and seamless way? This one is hard to reply, right? It's because Dogecoin is going to the moon. No, I was kidding. It's because blockchain is a distributed database that is going, is allowing us to uh, transact in a trustless way, in seamless way. And this is what uh, blockchain is also bringing to the digital art world and to NFTs. So for the first time, you can interact with someone that you don't know, uh, in, that is probably in the other side of the world, and you can sell them sell to this person your digital art and be rewarded and receive the payment in a totally uh, 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 trustless way, meaning that you don't need a centralized party to do this, which is quite cool, right? So what is blockchain? Uh, straightforwardly, a, a blockchain is basically a distributed database that allows recording uh, of the state of an asset and allows a trustless relationship between parties that maybe don't know each other and uh, in the blockchain and smart contracts in the blockchain in ethereum blockchain in this case will automate contractual agreements transactions in, and data is usually grouped together in blocks and these blocks are connected between each other with hash values hence the name blockchain you can see like these blocks are pages in the book like we can see here that are connected between each other uh, 
Being a decentralized system keeps the ledger in a peer-to-peer -peer network where all the computers are connected and uh, all the computers keep an updated copy of this ledger. All the nodes involved in the blockchain uh, keep track of all the balances and smart contracts and ownership of the assets in the blockchain, including the NFTs. A node is basically a computer in a network, and the term comes from computer science, but basically nodes are, are computers that participate in a peer-to-peer -peer network. You can have a node in Ethereum blockchain, it's very easy to do it, check my other video. But the uh, ledger is, uh, the distributed ledger is distribute, distributed across these thousands of nodes in such a way that each uh, computer can verify individually the transactions, but from the user point of view, from your perspective, you are interacting with one single system. Um, so let's take a look at this um, magical book analogy. You can see this has an old paper book where each page refers to the previous page with a code. And the book is the blockchain and each page is a block. Each line in the page of, of, of the book is a blockchain transaction or an NFT or a smart contract. Because each page is numbered and refers to the previous page, it is easy to detect if a page was removed or altered. Pages are numbered in a way that makes it easy to detect uh, and prevent uh, malicious activity. Blockchains are dealing with billions of dollars and we don't want malicious activity. And since pages are stacked on the top of each other uh, in this kind of book, it's very hard to change previous pages. Now try to visualize this uh, data as like, a, this is like a sh data sharing uh, of, of the NFTs. Every time a new NFT is created or minted, a new record of data is appended to the blockchain. And this record is immutable and no one can change it or temper, temper it with. So you can see here why NFTs imm are immutable and why do you, you can trust the blockchain to have a decentralized system where your NFT, your digital assets, your whatever is the asset can live on the blockchain and you can trust that it is secure and immutable and it's not going to change anytime soon and it's not going to be hacked and um in the, this this asset this ownership in the blockchain represents your ownership and that's why blockchain is such a great solution for nfts and many other things like decentralized finance